From the tiny apartment he used to live in during the 1990s to Romanov palaces, the leader of the largest country on earth and possibly the most hated as well, Vladimir Putin, has had quite a few properties to stay at. Perhaps the most controversial of these is his alleged $1 billion palace in Galenjik. A while back, Putin's arch nemesis and his team, the FBK, had released a video exposing what was known about his palace, also known as the most secret and well guarded place in Russia. Now, in the wake of the war going on, we have even more details and photos of where the enemy sleeps. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Vladimir Putin is a politician, former intelligence officer and the president of Russia since 2012, formerly in office from 1999 until 2008 as well. And if he wasn't already, now he just might be the most despised leader across the globe. The ground war he has started with Russia's neighbor the Ukraine is a tragedy to say the least and seems like another way which he's abusing his power. However, another thing about Putin is that as long as he's been in the public eye, he's also a closed book, which he extends to his top secret living quarters as well. Which is why this rare look at his Russian palace should be interesting to say the least. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this time about the ever hated Vladimir Putin and his palace. Before I get into it, I'll give special thanks to Alex Navalny and his team for the footage. Be sure to like, subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. While Putin has many luxury properties to stay at, this one palace seems to be the most interesting as it's the most secretive and well guarded facility in all of Russia. The residence at Cape Idokopas, as some may call it, has quite a few names like Putin's Palace, Putin's Country Palace, etc. It's a large Italian villa style complex located on the Black Sea coast, near the village of Praskokivka in Russia. Many have claimed this palace was built for the personal use of President Putin, even though this was dismissed by his spokesman in 2010. Construction began during Putin's first presidency and detailed claims about the property said they were improperly using state resources. Those who were aware of what was going on wanted to investigate the corruption and high quality photos of the palace and grounds were released by WikiLeaks, which also showed the fancy interiors. The Russian government had consistently dismissed Putin's connections to the property, but over the years, documents and information have been leaked. The uncoverings about the palace itself are from Alex Navalny and his team, the FBK, and it's the size of a village or a kingdom maybe even bigger. It has secure fences, its own port, security, a church, its own permit system, a no-fly zone, and even its own border checkpoints. This video claims that it costs a whopping $1.35 billion to construct. There's also a huge greenhouse on the grounds, which has trees and plants constantly monitored by about 40 gardeners on site. We can then see a large church on the property, a giant 80 meter bridge, and a couple of helipads. He even has a hockey rink and underground hockey complex. And we're just getting started. An important contractor who was involved in the construction of Putin's palace shared many details because the over the top nature and spending on the place, well, it enraged him. Well now, even more photos have been revealed. Let's take a look. We can see a courtyard, fountain, balconies, and an eagle at the front entrance. Moving inside, the details of Putin's quarters are a luxury and over-the-top Louis XIV style with gold and marble galore. We have what's called the reading room and now we can see that here there's a large white stone fireplace, vaulted and painted ceilings, while everything is gilded. Then there's Putin's master bedroom, which isn't a simple room, but more like an infrastructure. Located on the upper level, his private retreat is made up of multiple rooms, like a formal living room, the actual bedroom with his bed, another private living room, a bathroom, and a giant wardrobe. There are also golden eagles everywhere, which Putin made sure of, in fact, over every door. His bed is a luxurious and large canopy bed, which they did predict in the last video quite well. His private bathroom is quite the affair as well, with a large jacuzzi tub flanked by marble columns, surrounded by luxurious armchairs too. 
If Putin doesn't want to soak in the tub, he can make his way to his indoor pool. This outrageous space has female statues built into the soaring ceilings, more stucco details, and plenty of columns too. Then there is his very own theater, which is all decked out in wood. It has a two-story auditorium featuring its own balconies and boxes. I mean, if that isn't enough, Putin even has his own strip club or hookah lounge. This room has no windows and one might expect, and there's a pole, sofas, pillows on the stage, which is a little bit disorganized. On the other wing of the palace, there's another lavish bedroom with its own living room and a secret restroom. The room also has an amazing view of the sea, as well as extremely expensive furniture like a bed which cost about $17,000. Either way, Way this impressive room, which is fairly hidden, must belong to someone very important to Putin. The endless amenities in the palace also show some restaurant complex. Reportedly, on the second level of the restaurant complex, there is a 50 meter karaoke hookah lounge where there is also a stage. Nearby, you'll find spaces like a dressing room, so it seems that this is where invited performers can prepare to impress Putin. Also in this area of the palace, there's a large billiards and cigar room, an eight-person bar, and then even more interesting, a huge Italian restaurant area. However, we do know Putin loves Italy as the entire residence was designed by an Italian architect and is furnished with only the best and most expensive Italian pieces. And if he's not in the mood for Italian, elsewhere there's even a Chinese restaurant, more specifically the president's own teppanyaki restaurant. Well, floor plans go on for days, and that's not even half of what's available at Putin's castle. Other features include a beauty salon, a large spa with plunge tubs, a home gym, a music lounge, and much more. Putin even has a personal casino complete with card tables and a roulette wheel, and in the attached games room, a dance machine area, as well as slot machines to film the surroundings. While Putin's palace is not only that massive building and the impressive underground hockey complex, there's almost 20,000 acres, huge vineyards, and a neighboring chateau as well. The grounds boast dozens of outbuildings with room for staff, as well as structures for meat and fish workshops, a bakery, a man-made pond, and more. Additionally, the property comes with a separate winery in another village called Krinitsa. After seeing this new update thanks to the FBK, we can confirm a lot of the facts and interiors about Vladimir Putin's palace. And my, it's just as gaudy as we expect. This extreme structure has every amenity you can think of and then some, from a teppanyaki restaurant to a strip club and a personal casino. Just when you think it's done, there's an indoor swimming pool and golden eagles adorning every corner of every room. I wonder how many golden eagles are in Putin's palace altogether. Do any of you know? If so, sound off in the comments. Well, that wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!